Martha Fourth is finally here. Gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of everything I got going on. Got these small tubs. This one's just gonna be a bunch of novelties. We've got four smoke dragons fused in the back there. Got this tub of sparklers, poppets, snakes, and lanterns. Got our little tub of firecrackers, crackling balls. Got a small tub of smoke. This is a little bit skimpy. I kind of wish I would have picked up more smoke. This tub of fountains, swords, guns. This is going to be everything I fused up this year. I got a 60 shot rack in the back that I didn't show. It's just going to be some tropy bombs and moon rocks canister shells. And then I have one more idea for this little Christmas tree. And then I think I'm done with it. We got a whole entire tub of these larger rockets. And I also made this A-frame rocket stand to try out this year. See if I like this design. And then last I got two tubs of these different sized cakes. That'll be for the end of the night. So the plan is probably just going to mess around with these novelties all day. And we'll switch to rum and candles and rockets. Followed by the fountains. Then shift to all the things that I've used up for this year and in the night on these cakes. For water, I'm gonna keep these three up here, and then I'm gonna have these two all the way down there. Testing out the angle here. That's why I think this is going to be a, a screecher. I want to cover your ears.
go ahead. Damn, I'm worried about this one. Whenever you're ready. Some whistling dead heads. Totally purple.
Gonna be some ice cream. This is a small little 360 stand. It's 270 shots. And it'll be a mix between red, blue, and crackling. On this one, it looks like we just had two of the wolf pack crackling that did not light. This is the cone-shaped Roman candle stand. It's 500 shots, and it'll have a green and purple effect. On this one, there's just five of these purple pearl that did not light, and then two of the wild cards that didn't light. So for the second version of the Boom Boom Tube, we've got 23 whistling deadheads and 30 rainbow pixels for a grand total of 265 shots. And I've also put some quick fuse on there, so this will definitely be quicker paced. <laughs> Being fused with quick fuse, this one actually surprised me because there was only four of the whistling deadheads that didn't light. All right, time for the sky pattern rockets stand with 81 rockets. This should be pretty sweet.
I thought this rocket stand was pretty sweet. Only had five rockets that didn't go off. So 76 instead of the 81. I still consider that a success. Here's the gumball stand. This is seven of the gumball barrage candles for damn near 2,000 shots. I think we're 40 shy. Let's see how it looks. I couldn't really tell because of how busy this one was, but there was just one barrage candle that didn't light. So with this Roman candle stand, the big candles are gonna be 250 shots. The small candles are gonna be 900 shots for a total of 1,150. All right, on this stand, all of the large Roman candles that were fused with the green fuse were successful. As far as the small Roman candles, there was quite a bit that was unsuccessful. This first row, we have five that didn't go off. Second row, three. This row, we had four that didn't go off. This row, all of them went off. Then we have three that didn't go off and four that didn't go off. I think the sketchiest thing that happened was this red rainbow pixel actually blew up in the rack and blew the top rails off. I think the only thing that saved this was the fact that these rows are so close together that this one kind of just leaned on this next row.
had a lot of fun this year. I think it was definitely worth the wait to get to try out these different things that I've built. My favorite would have to be that large Roman candle stand. I feel like that one was the most visually appealing. A close second would have to be the Sky Pattern Rocket Stand. I love Rocket Swarms, and I felt like this one had a really nice tight grouping in the sky. I also thought the ending to the Boom Boom Tube was pretty interesting. The way the Whistling Deadheads are just going up in the sky, exploding, and lighting up that smoke. I really like the Firecracker Tree. I thought it was funny how when the smoke clears, all you see is the frame of the tree. Another one of my favorites was that Rainbow Smoke Holder. Because there was little to no wind, I think it worked perfectly. Feel free to let me know what your favorite part was, and like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.